Hi, my name is Anthony Watson, and I am a prototype architect at AWS. In this video, I will show you how easy it is for application developers to use Backstage IO to create a serverless REST API that runs on the AWS cloud. What you see in this demo is made possible by an AWS open source project known as Application Development for Backstage IO on AWS. The purpose of this video is to show you the developer experience. Subsequent videos dive deeper into the architecture and other aspects of the open source project. First, let's talk about what developers want. As a developer, the fastest way to create a new application is to generate one based on an existing template. Other things a developer needs are a Git repository to store code, an automated process for building and deploying the application, and a way to see application logs. As we'll soon see, all of this can be automated and completed in minutes using application development for Backstage IO on AWS. As a developer, the first thing I am going to do once I've logged into Backstage is to click to create a new application. We can see that there are multiple application templates to choose from. I'm going to create a serverless REST API that is powered by API Gateway and Lambda Functions. Let's see what the API will look like. What we have here is a visual representation of a REST API with operations that allow us to catalog the sports equipment we own, such as baseball bats and basketballs. It supports CRUD operations to get a list of items and also add, update, and delete items. Now let's return to Backstage to create this API. The new application wizard is asking me to fill in some basic information about my application, so I'll do that now. I'm going to call my application demo, then I'll type in a description. The owner field configures who should own this application. I'm going to pick the developers group. Future videos will discuss security in more detail. The environment field allows me to choose from the various environments that have already been created on the AWS cloud. I'm going to choose a developer environment. The final step is to fill in the name of the repository that I want to be created. I'll call that demo. And now we see a summary of the choices and I can go ahead and click create. I now see a series of high-level steps that Backstage is taking to create my application based upon the REST API template. Ultimately, these steps will result in a new Git repository being created. A new CI-CD pipeline is also created that will build this application when changes are merged to Git. Finally, the new application is registered with Backstage so that I can see information about it and interact with it. Let's wait just a few moments while it finishes creating. OK, the wizard is finished. If I click on the repository link, I will get taken straight to the new Git repository that was created for me. Here I can see all of the template source code. Now let's open the application details page to see what Backstage provides for us. Specifically, let's see how we can deploy our new API. We can see that the application state is showing as staged, which means that the application has been built and staged by the CI-CD pipeline, which ran automatically when our Git repository was created. The API hasn't yet been deployed, so I'll click the Deploy app button to deploy it now. While the application is deploying, I see status updates to let me know how the deployment is going. Once the application has been deployed, we can then see the status has changed to live, and we can see at what time it was actually created. Now let's actually test it out. I can get the link to the API here, and we can paste this in our visual editor. So now I will make a call and try to look up some sports equipment. We can see that a payload is returning 
rubber basketball as the first item that we have set up. We can now return to Backstage to see if any application logs were created. We can go to the Application Logs tab, the logs are being retrieved, and this is what was produced in the first call. So we see that we can see our application logs without even leaving Backstage. Thank you for watching this video on how application development for Backstage I.O. on AWS allows developers to create RESTful APIs while focusing on what they do best, writing code.